What's going on, everyone? My name is Booby Fontleroy. Some of y'all may know me as Thad J or Thaddeus Fontleroy. And right now, I'm just getting into my first installment of my Keep Chasing motivational segment. And I just want to let y'all know the origin of Keep Chasing. Keep Chasing simply stands for anyone with a dream, any goals, any desires, any aspirations, anyone with any ambition to go further in life, just keep chasing your dreams, goals, desires, aspirations, regardless of what's going on around you, regardless of what the naysayers, the non-believers, the haters, regardless of what all of those people say, you have to keep chasing, not for anyone else, not for the people that don't believe in you, not for the people that doubt you, keep chasing for you. First and foremost, you got to do it for you. If you wake up every day with a goal in mind, but the goal is to make someone else mad or to make someone else upset or to prove someone else wrong, then you're doing it for the wrong reason. You got to find that passion, that desire, that goal, you know, those things burning inside of yourself for yourself. Just because you become successful, that doesn't mean anything to me, not saying that I knock you forward, but I want you to become successful because you want to be successful. You got to find that drive. You got to find that determination. You got to become disciplined. Dedication, determination, and discipline. If you have those three characteristics, sky's the limit. All I'm saying is keep chasing just stands for the dreamers. I'm doing it for the dreamers, for that young kid that's out there at the basketball court in the cold because the gym is closed. No coat on, just shooting around in situations. Five, four, three, two, oh, Kobe, or oh, LeBron. Or back in the day, it used to be, oh, AI. I do it for that kid. I do it for the guy that doesn't see a way. The guy that's making a way out of no way. No, I'm not rich. Nah, I don't have a lot of money. I have a lot of this and a lot of this, and I do a whole lot of this. That's it, that's all I have. You have to find that determination within yourself. You have to dedicate your drive, your craft to yourself. Find it within yourself to grind hard, to work hard, to outwork everyone that has ever had anything up against you. You must outwork each and every single last critic. You have to be up early in the morning. I'm not saying you gotta get up at six, five, seven. I'm just saying you gotta get up. The first step to being successful is getting up. I tell people all the time, they're like, man, how you go to the gym every single day? You don't get tired of it? I said, no, I found the love for getting up. I found the love for getting up and working hard every day. I'ma chase regardless. If the gym closed, I'ma find an alternate route. Every single day. Nothing's going to stop me from going hard and working hard towards my craft, towards my ultimate goal every single day. My grind, my motivation, my work ethic to some people has become sickening because it's like a disease. It's something that's I have to have my fix. It's like it's like I'm addicted to working hard. I'm addicted to it. My work ethic is relentless. Second to none. Put me in front of the right people at the right time, we're gonna take off. And that's what keep chasing means. You have to find that love, that passion, just as I stated in my last video. You must find that that joy and the passion and the desire for what it is that you wanna do. No one should have to make you get up to achieve and to, to chase your dreams. No one should have to make you get up because that means you're not passionate about it. You gotta become passionate, you gotta find it. Deep within you, it's buried, it's in there. The man upstairs has given us all desire. He's given us all the will to chase our dreams every single day. And it's on you. If he breathes air into your lungs, then you can get up and chase your dreams. Why well, sit there and allow life to just pass you by? You sitting there watching all your homeboys like that. He said he was going to do it, he did it. Dang, she said she was going to get that car and she got it. Why be that person? Why not be the one like, hey, yo, I got this new whip. I see your joint too. That's what's up, man. We going hard out here. Yeah, why not be that person? That motivation and that drive, that gotta, you got to get that from within. 
Find that motivation. My why, my why is my children. I have two of them. Eric Thomas said, you must find a, what is your why? And I believe that. Everyone should have a why. Get up, why? You got two kids. Get up, why? Both of your kids depending on you to set a foundation for them. Get up, why? Why not? Why wouldn't I get up and grind every day? Why wouldn't I get up and work harder and harder and harder and put hours and hours and hours and hours into my craft? Why wouldn't I? So my advice to you is to get up. That's 50% of the battle. That's 50% of the battle, getting up. If you get up, you halfway there, baby. You halfway there. Just get up. Just get up. Because once you get up, if you're like me, once I get up, ain't no going back to sleep. I don't care if it's 3.45, 4 o'clock in the morning. People will tell you. I hit them up random times of the night. Random. 4.44. Yo, what's up, man? You trying to go to the gym? Yo, man, what's up, man? You trying to go to the track? This is every single night. Every night I found a love. You got to find a love for your passion. You have to. I'm not telling you to be like me. No. See, I come from humble beginnings. I come from the bottom of the bottom. West Philadelphia, born and raised for real. I come from that. Days without eating. Nights without knowing how I'm going to eat. I'm not talking about my younger years. I'm talking about my teenage years. When it was more so I'm on my own. I come from that. I come from the bottom of the bottom. So pain is normal to me. It's relative. I understand pain. I focus. I'm locked in. I dare you to lock in. I dare you to lock in on your craft. I dare you to stay focused through all the trials, the tribulations, the adversity. That's nothing but building you up to be the greater you. I dare you to be the best version of you you could possibly be. Keep chasing, regardless of what's going on around you, like I said. Because at the end of the day, regardless if you're chasing or someone else is chasing, the chase continues. You must keep chasing. I'm Booby Finally Roy. I want you to lock in. I want you to pray first, and I want you to keep chasing because the chase continues. The separation of talent and skill is one of the, 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 the greatest misunderstood concepts for people who are trying to excel, who have dreams that want to do things. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous sickening work ethic you know while the other guys sleeping I'm working while the other guys eating I'm working